Okay, here we go. Same race, eight laps. Starting on the hard, so we're going to try and make it a no stop. Look after the tyres, look at the governor sort of warming them up. How's that Mazda going to be on the straight? And I think this actually does have a sort of endurance like feel to it because the car, I think, struggles to cope with just how little grip there is on these hard tyres. Well, that might be a pen over the top. I don't know. Oh, we j we got away with it by a pixel. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was close. See the mass is just dropping off a little bit. I'm not going for the overtake, but I just wanted to open up to get better visibility. But I do think the mass is there for the taking, to be honest. It's sort of overtake or be overtaken in these circumstances, isn't it? Just about had the space there to turn in. Remember that mass is going to take a half a second. Oh, nice one, Matisse. I was actually at Spa yesterday. This is a very weird experience, but also massively cool. See the mass is sort of all over the shop. We got damaged there, hopefully no penalty. That was very much a, G a Gran Turismo thing to do, just sort of like power through. Like in iRacing, you'd have to come to a well, in iRacing, race would be over by now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Different sims. Uh, we've just lost a slip here and we got damage. Our damage repaired, but 1.3 off, although. He's a second back, so we might not have slipped from the car in front, but we might be okay from behind as well. I'm very deep there. Oh, someone's got punted behind, and this guy's had a very weird line. AMG new meta, not in this race, I don't think. Not in this race. Can we catch up? 1.3 seconds. Point two. It is bunching up a little bit. Pros and cons to that. Slipstream train, but also they might trip each other up. Point two still. Can we get just a few more tents, luckily, before the straight? See? Different lines through here. I think this line was better. I was a bit too narrow. But they're definitely going to trip each other up ahead. Just by our time, this could get quite interesting for us. 1.2 again. I feel like we can catch up with this guy ahead. 1.1. Don't know if he's in a slip train. Turning a bit too early there, but we just got a bit lucky. Nail down, nail the power down. One second gap, come on.
Ah, 1.1. Don't think we're going to get such any benefit. But it's looking pretty good. Oh, Nico's behind us now. I believe a World Tour driver. So this is top split. This is the fastest 16 drivers in Europe right now. So pretty good for us being P6. But when they go to the real life events in Monaco or whatever, I think he's there in the top 16 like, worldwide. Just about got that turned in. Okay, and I saw we dip the brake earlier. How's it? Wow, look at this. We are like right on his coattails. Come on. Bit better, I think. Use the rear wheel wheels to push the car around. Point one. to really just push myself here. Look at Nico catching up. Oh, now we might be getting in the slip a little bit. Come on, good bus stop and good um, La Source. And we're right on this guy. Gonna carry through all the speed. Of ghosting there, a bit weird, isn't it? Eight tenths, come on. We need a good bus stop now. We haven't had it yet. Oh, I'm so tentative on the power. It's such a tricky corner in this car. We got three tenths, we gave it away. Oh, no. I think he had some issues at the top of O'Rouge, but man, this is such a tough race here at the top. This is like ridiculous standards. Let's not outbreak ourselves here. Obviously the car's getting lighter every lap. Tyres are wearing though. Nine tenths again. Mantry pit stop. No, you have to use a hard tyre, so it's no stop for us. Just went wide a little bit there. You can hear the tyre sort of squealing. And now we've got Nico in our slip. It's just such tiny margins. And just imagine when they do this for real in sort of, well, at the moment GTE cars, but then it'll be GT3 cars. And they do this for like six, six hours, hours, eight, eight hours, hours, 12, 12 hours, 24 hours, hours just, just like battling, battling like this. this. I mean, that's when, when I went, went to Spa yesterday for the six hours, hours in, in real life, two, two of the classes of podiums came down to the last lap. In LMP2, sorry, in GTE and hypercar, the podium came down to the last lap. They were overtakes in the last lap to get on the podium. Absolutely insane. Like six hours and that happens. Right, here comes Nico. I'm actually just going to let him slide up the inside here. I'm following three. I'm just going to slot in here. I think this is going to be our ticket to really, because we've been give and go with the Italian, haven't we? So now we've got a little bit more um, firepower with us. I'll say a little bit more in the shape of one of the best drivers in the world. Hopefully that's no pen. I decided just sort of cut the top off there. 
how we can push Nico. Work as a T. See how close you have to break to each other when you're at this level. It's that sort of implicit trust that you can follow, you can lead, and you can follow. Tally went a bit wide there, but so did I. See how good Nico's line was in comparison to both of us. Yeah, teamwork is exactly. at Too wide ahead. Might be for the podium. Few moments. You can see just how hard I'm having to work here. Just constantly correcting and counter correcting and um, trying to open up the steering as quickly as possible to, to to carry the speed and build the speed but not open up so much that I end up running wide just like dropping the wheel. Are they going to go side by side to Blanchemont? Maybe the Italian side to hang it around the outside. Oh, that's going to be difficult to do. Oh, but he's still there. He's still there. This has worked out great for us. There goes Nico, but we've definitely caught up now. Cheeky will not be inside at last source. He's gone very deep there. Oh, he's hit Nico. Oh, dearie me. There might be some previous there. I don't want to be involved in this at all. Oh, he's backed out. So maybe, maybe, maybe just late on the brakes. He was kind of a bit... He was in a bit of an interesting position there going in, wasn't he? So after all of that, we're back in P5. In top split, ahead of a World Tour driver. But how long is that going to last for? Those those guys, P3 and P4, were going side by side. Nico is not happy about it on the text chat. Don't text and drive if you're watching. And I wonder, is, will, that, will that have taken a little bit out of Nico? Will he be a little bit flustered? Can we, can we now... Does that get us back to parity a little bit? Does that take some of his driving skill advantage away? Basically, can we decide to try and battle him this time around? Let's see. Got to make decisions. I think this time we should actually try and go defensive. If we're able to. Wow, that was millimetres there from being an accident. Almost on the Astro. Gone very wide there. Very wide. But ironically, it will sort of compromise him more. Wide there as well. We're going defensive now. We did have a buffer, I think, to Kato was the driver behind us. So yeah, he's not the other driver's not even in the picture. There he is just there. So we've got a little bit of time to play with. There can be two laps to go. Can we decide to go and dice with the World Tour driver? Let's see. Hopefully no penalty there. Did go a little bit over those white lines, but I'm not sure it triggers that early. See now he's biding his time. Get a decent drive there, so I'd be surprised if he goes for it here. He might just be biding his time on the camel straight. He kind of shapes for it, let's see. And again, he puts me under a lot of pressure there, like I did with the Italian, as I go deep. So, what's going to happen up the camel straight now? Clipping all those curbs on their rouge. And we'll stay defensive this time. I don't think he's going to push us. <clears throat> so it's going to be Genesis versus Toyota Supra into the braking zone. Can we hang it on the brakes? Let's see. Yes, we can. 
fending off a world tour driver. Oh my word, how are we doing this? It's just not in the script. Gonna go defensive here. He might decide to hang it around the outside here and have the inside for the left hander, but again, Supra got a lot of torque. Bit wide there. He's gonna have the inside here. It's too late for me to go defensive. So we might have just shuffle him behind here. And then think about having him before the bus stop. Let's play this smart. By the way, if you're liking this racing, please, please, please make sure you liked, make sure you commented, make sure you subscribed. All that good engagement. YouTube will share it more. Forget YouTube for the moment. This is just about me and Nico here. Twitching. We need the slip screen to come back to us. Oh no. Oh, just about. Oh, yellow flag though. Someone might have done the same thing. He's done a pirouette and he's on his way. So that is the P4 driver. We'll go around the outside of the Austrian here. See how much we lost to Nico. I reckon Nico's gone, but can we hold on to this and lost that seat? three shame that isn't it we just um just bit a little bit too much that time right we're going to come to attack from the italian can we hold off here can we get anything else that comes our way ahead a p5 in this split would be absolutely insane Wow, took a huge amount there. There is a yellow flag. There is a yellow flag. It's the leader up into P4. Did we get a penalty for O'Rouge? No, we didn't. But here comes the Italian. I had a very bad O'Rouge. We have to show defensive here. Can we hold on to P4? He's trying to go around the outside. We saw this in the six hours with the Ferrari hypercar against the Pauls. James Collado around the outside. Little bit of contact. Is there enough space for both of us? Just about. Going to have to go deep into the corner here. Going to have to try and find the brace. He comes across. Okay. Oh. Just a little bit of nibble on the inside here. Giving each other space. Still side by side. Surely it's not going to be too wide through here. It is too wide through here. Just trying to hang on to it. Okay, he's got the inside for Poo on. We really want this P4. Come on. Terrible lines from both of us. And there's another car here. It's the Austrian. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. What's the Austrian going to do? Is he just going to follow here and make it a three wide into the bus stop? Depends on my lines, probably. Having to dab on the brakes. Getting on the power. Come on. We made a mess this last lap. Power. Little lift. Okay. Six tenths to the Supra, two tenths to the Supra behind. Where are we gonna finish? Four, five, six, anywhere behind. Let's see. Building up the speed. Oh, I've gone wide. I've gone wide. No penalty though. They're queuing up behind. He's going to go for the cutback, surely. Oh, it's going to be a P5 in the end. What a race. What a race that is.